so as you can set, tell, um, we are back in the old room. Well, not the old room. We're just not on vacation anymore. So we're gonna watch Queen Banana. Um, the next one, Octagami, whatever, whatever, however you say that episode name, the one that came out that doesn't have the English yet. I'll react to that as soon as there's English subs or dubs or however, whatever comes out first or whatever. So we're just gonna get right into it. Right into it. excited that it's in dub. Like, I feel like it's been forever since I've watched an English dub. For a picnic. Not even close, Zubu. It's a cape. This one's for the superhero of creation. This one's for the super villain of destruction. Cape for Cat Noir and Ladybug? No, it's for a movie. Oh. You know, those make Those are jackets, not capes. Are you gonna be famous? No, I'm the costume designer. I'm not acting in it. Oh, so cute. She's news. designing movie <gasps> costumes. Original project coming from the Francois Dupont School in Paris. Clara Cantard reporting. Under the initiative of the art teacher Jean Pierre Molontov, one of Francois Dupont School's alumni, Thomas Astruc, who's become a successful film director, is participating in an amazing project. The back. <laughs> He's overseeing this group of students who are volunteering their own vacation time to produce a real life movie. From script to storyboard, not to mention costumes, everything's being done. Oh, by that's the so cute! Themselves. With They're all doing it together. Yes, okay, but I myself directed a film in my youth and, and the cherry on top. That's is the little hint thing to the Emily movie, movie, right? Right? Thanks to famous producer Bob Roth. What a lucky break for these student filmmakers, as well as for the two young actresses who'll be starring it's in the so roles. You may hate me, but I love you, and I always will. A film with my half of a sister as the star? Ridiculous! Why isn't she saying that as much? What I want is to go tell that bunch of ladies how things work in real life. Uh, no one cares, I love you, Chloe. And I always will. How dare you all giving the lead role to my half of a sister who just came out of nowhere and with daddy's money on top of it all. Uh, it's not actually funded by me, sweetheart, but by the city. Same thing. You. I told you that you'd be sent back to New York if you ever crossed my path. And now, not only are you on my path, but on TV, too. Don't let your sister walk all over you, Zoe. You were made for this part. You deserve it. It's true. And we're meeting with the producer tomorrow, so it's too late to change anything now. Might I remind you that you were offered the Who chance by the students in the school to participate in the film. But you refused because, and I quote, Maylen's sweater is too ugly, Nate draws like a two-year-old, Alia is useless, and Marinette is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. I said that? Less politely. Well, I still mean all of it. But if this stupid childish film actually gets released in theaters and turns someone into a star, that someone should be me. So, you're gonna give me the part my half of a sister is playing because everything she owns is mine. Hm. Banana Chloe? <laughs> Don't worry, kids. Oh! Oh! Banana Chloe? It's okay, Zoe. And here's the office of the producer, Bob Roth. Surprise! <laughs> Chloe, oh! what are you doing here? My old friend Andre told me you'd be okay making a few small changes in the scripts so that his daughter could be part of the film. But it's impossible. We've prepped and gotten everything set. Movie making kid is the art of compromise to protect your, I mean, the interest of the Oh family. my god! Or Andre's daughter will play the starring role. Andre, the get it together. Film, you so literally like Zoe more. The superhero of creation. The next plane for New York leaves in 30 minutes. No big deal if I don't play the main role. Yes, it there is! Lots of other positions open on the crew. Perfect. As long as she's not on screen, it's fine with me. Then it's a deal. See you all tomorrow morning on set. Bye bye, losers. Now get out. Oh my god! This is totally unfair. Believe it or not, okay. I also shot a film in my youth. It was called Solitude. Daddy, I'm trying to concentrate here. Of course. Sorry, sweetheart. And you, Dupin Chang, call it with the horrible costume. It's worse than Lane. That's why it suits you so well, Chloe. <laughs> what a queen! I love her, I love her, I love her. That's why In this scene, the that entire was so... population has been put into an That was good, that was good. So we need tons of extras. You guys are gonna lay down here. Perfect. Hey, all of you! Someone just told me I'm supposed to play the role of the 
super villain of destruction and Milan is the superhero of creation. Are you kidding me? I get the lead role. I am the good guy, okay? Chloe, those two roles are equally as important. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I get to be the good guy. We don't have time for all of these changes. She's not a... It's not common to have to adapt a script on the set at the last minute for production reasons. It's called... That's baloney. A waste of time giving up on your dreams. A revision. If it's for the good of the film. See, no, no, it's not! It's for the good of Chloe and her self-interest. Chloe, you're supposed to be acting! Lame, boring, dull. What we need is a superhero film featuring a real superhero. Hey, what's black and yellow has pretty blonde hair, gets everyone's attention, and it's gonna break the box office. We're not talking about you as Queen B, because most of the time you are a super disaster more than a superhero. Uh, actually, I wasn't even thinking of Queen B. I was thinking of a much more original character. Queen, uh, Queen Banana. <laughs> Queen what? <laughs> now I get it. I was like... An animal can fly. What do you know about no, they can't! Girl. Marinette, can you fly? Kanoar, does he fly? No, they use their stick and yo yo. Z9, take three. Ooh. Action! Ha, we can start now. Except, when she sees you all just lying around doing nothing, Queen Banana doesn't feel like saving you. She feels more like tossing you in the garbage. Chloe, we're not changing everything again. Who said change everything? We just need a bigger and better challenge for Queen Banana. It's really gorgeous of you, I mean, generous of you to come help us. Happy to, Marinette. My father said it was for the good of the film. Oh, Adrian, I was wondering where he was. At least he is worth saving. Okay, now can we shoot? Hmm, we need a new bad guy, a super duper uber villain. A galactic emperor? A giant octopus that comes from outer space? A fire breathing dragon? No, no, those are so lame. I want a giant. Adrian needs to get up in here and set her straight. No, it's not! Are you kidding? I want a real dynamite slinging gorilla, not some cardboard monkey. But You're a cardboard only monkey. Giant yellow dynamite slinging apes do not exist. There are tons of giant gorillas doing stuff in all the good movies. Can't you just hire one of those? Ah, I'm so tired of all of you. I'm getting some beauty rest at the palace. Tomorrow, you'd better have this monkey business figured out. <sighs> oh my god! My soul is so Maybe irked! Zoo will lend us an ape if we take extra good care of it. You're not really gonna look for a giant dynamite. Stop saying that! It's the good of the film. It's not even a film anymore. It's just Chloe's fantasy. The only thing we're gonna do right now is get Adrian out of that cage. Then we're gonna shoot the story that we all thought of together. That's for the good of the film. Yes, please! You do it! Who cares about Chloe freaking getting in the way? Shot everything last night. Right about now, they're probably over at the movie theater screening it. What the? Hold on, it does not happen that. Ultimate nightmare. Sorry, I gotta call. But um, first of all, it doesn't happen that fast. Like I know it's like rushed for the point of the show, but writing and drawing out and filming and editing and that takes so long, like years of work, and they did it all of the recording in one night edited it and put it all together and it's on the big screen the next morning something doesn't seem right but okay okay i guess we'll let it slide for the sake of it but okay it's fine it's fine <laughs> star wars <laughs> why were their faces like
watched this first scene. I found it very moving and oh, just the first scene. Exceptional okay. in it. I've therefore decided to privately finance the movie based on the original screenplay. Faraday convinced him. Like we said before, kid, movie making's all about compromise. Sorry, Chloe. It was for the good of the film. Mm -hmm. I totally messed up that way. But most of all, it's for the good of my plan. Chloe is always an excellent source of inspiration. Hey, wait! Andrew, 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 it's sweet of you to want to console me, but I'm fine. I'm going to get my. I like her hair like well. Do I like her hair like that? I just like it. I came to suggest that you apologize to everyone. I love you, Andrew. They ruined my film. It was never you. Your film, Chloe, it belonged to the group. You promised me you would make an effort to stop being mean to everyone, and I warned you that if you didn't, then we can no longer be friends. You're as ridiculous as that film. It's over. You're no longer my Adrian. You're Adrian nothing. You need to self-reflect. Introspection, Chloe. If Adrian's telling you, get it together, Banana, you get it together. Once again, they refuse to recognize your true talent, so I give you the power to show them- Hawkmoth or Gabriel has to be thinking, the heck is wrong with this girl? Like, she's- It's all arranged. I am the director of your dreams. In exchange for your power. Yeah, yeah, I know. Lady Bunny and Captain Noir is miraculous. You'll have them! And then you never know what could have happened. And then, uh, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. If you don't come out from your hiding place, Zoe, I'm gonna turn all the parents into Chloe. And it's annoying. All your fault. My fault. No, no, no. It's not your fault. Call me there, Banana Queen. So, what's your superpower? Making people slip on banana peels? You're about to find out. He's so cute. Oh, Alley Cat, why is it so cute? Woo! <laughs> I love him. I love that. Can you see the way Kim's holding Shadow Moth has been very generous to Chloe. I gotta admit, I'm a little jealous of her gear. Totally unnecessary. Nothing can beat a cat and ladybug duo. Meow. Meow. <laughs> <laughs>
Adrian. You're so cute. What is this evil lash she's doing? his own size right because she's not his size in which case that saying doesn't work Turned out to be a 
what? But the script will be rewritten very soon. Chloe, your endless supply of anger promises multitudes of chaos. Sooner or later, Again? I'll get my hands on those miraculous. Again? We'd better recharge our Kwamis before Shadow Moth akumatizes her again. Miss Beria, the lady. Malini, did you hear the change in tone? Miss Beria, the lady. Shadow can help Chloe escape Shadow Moth's influence, but I can't force her to wear it. I know how to do it. I want to shoot my film! That's enough, Chloe. It doesn't matter if you try to send me back to New York. I'm done playing the supporting role for the good of our family. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> so he is right, Chloe. You can ask me for a new cell phone or to paint the limousine pink, but you can't ask me to hurt your sister. Don't call her that. Yes, Andre! To me. I, I hate you. You may hate me, but I love you. And I always will, even if the whole world hates you. Sister, remember? We have the same mother. Look, she even gave me this gift. If it comes from mom, then I... <laughs> Big brain! What's mine is yours. You and I are family. Did she not even look at what Ladybug was just... That's impossible. <laughs> What's going on? You just wait. Real life is nothing like your stupid film. I'll get my revenge. <laughs> I'm so glad Andre stood Chloe? up to her. You okay? Leave me alone, all of you. <laughs> oh, Chloe. Oh, Adrienne is just so nice to everyone. So we did it. Maybe this will help Chloe become... Okay, but her freckles. You guys see her freckles? You can't see them far away, but what is nice? Of course you see all her freckles on her face. At the end of the episode? Oh my goodness. I like that. That was so cute. Okay, so let's recap. Um, Zoe, we love her. We stand Zoe. Like, she's so, like, insecure and, like, like, I don't know if I'm strong enough or I can't do this. And, like, wait, it's going to be my fault that everyone gets turned into bananas. <laughs> Oh, no, but she, oh, I like her as, what was her name, Best Bernan, so, something, whatever her queen bee name is, um, with the bee miraculous, um, so cute, so great, she definitely, definitely like her, um, I like the new hairdo, how she died, I, I wonder if, like, we see that happen, or if that, because it was like, oh, whatever, but, um, yeah, Noir, Adrian, great as always, he really was just, in a cage sitting up there with, like under a plane just like what's going on down there just and then like like oh my goodness adrian what you doing um i'm very glad that chloe's dad said no that was nice because we need someone mm. Mm. that was really smart of chloe it's, it's chloe i keep getting their name stupid messed up um Zoe, how she was like, yeah, my mom gave me this charm. Our mom gave me this charm. And Chloe says, mom gives you. That's mine. And then she puts it on. Like, did you not just see what Ladybug literally just tried to give you? Like, like maybe she didn't see it because she slapped it out of her hand. But whatever. And then, um, yeah, yeah. Ladybug. I think I like Ladybug more than Marinette. But I don't know for sure, for sure. Because sometimes it changes because I like Marinette. But at the same time, they're the same person. But they still, like, act completely different. But, um, okay. I was very happy how Adrian actually brought back what he pastedly said. What he said in the past. Where he was like, I told you, Chloe. If you don't step up, we can't be friends. Like, I can't be friends with someone who literally is mean to everyone. And thinks that they can't be friends with someone unless they're mean to everyone else, too. Like, thank you, Adrian. But then, then, when she didn't step up. She, he still said to her, are you okay, Chloe? Like, I thought you weren't friends anymore, Adrian. I thought we just went over this. I thought she just said, you're not my Adrian kids anymore. You're Adrian nothing. Oh, well, Chloe, you're Chloe nothing. Like, stop. Ah. She be getting on my nerves. Like, like, oh my goodness. I'm glad they move, made the movie the way that they wanted. Um, I thought it was cute that it was Marinette who went up to Gabriel and said, let's do it this way. And, I mean, I technically... Like, he didn't say yes because Marinette convinced him. He was like, what a great opportunity to akumatize Chloe because she's just so evil and I can really use that energy to capture two little teenage kids and, like, defeat them and, like, bring back my dead wife from the dead, from back, blah, blah, whatever. But, like, ah, he just gets more and more annoying. Like, like I used to be like, oh, yeah, mom, ah, but then, you know, Chaplonk happened. And now he's just, like, 
Just, just like, please. He's every episode. Oh, no. Every episode he says some kind of corny pun or whatever. And he makes it seem like he'll win next time. Like, how many years? How many multiple times a day have you been pulling these? Like, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, but yeah, it was good. It was good. And I will be seeing you guys in the next episode, which came out already. But I don't have the English.